Hi, welcome back to part two of getting out of our creative block, slump, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you are new here, welcome. Um, I'm glad to have you. If you are a subscriber and coming back, thanks for joining us again. Um, so today we are going to do clusters. I decorated some, some I didn't. They're just, you know, no rhyme or reason to it. And I'll walk you through. There's a lot of talking in this one. So it's a little bit longer than normal because I don't know, I was in a talking mood. I don't have my kids to babble at. Um, so let's get crafting. All right, so. What you're gonna need for these clusters is scrap paper. Any kind you like. Um, I'm gonna use this as my base and we'll see how many I get on here. And then I have some tissue paper. I'm just grabbing random stuff off of my desk. Oh look, I have some. I want some color in this. Um, well, this is old. I don't know what that was for. No, we're not using it. Um, look, I don't know. These are old. I was, yeah, let's look at those too. Why not? Um, and then if you want to embellish them, you can add some embellishment. Really, it's whatever your heart desires. Okay, so this is another thing that I like to do. It's a little bit more detailed than making plain um, tags. So, but really, who doesn't like to um, rip paper? I don't know about you, but I was like, my favorite thing is to rip some paper. Um, this kind of looked like a sewing stuff. Oh, look, this looks interesting. Okay, so I'm going to rip all the way around this so I have ripped edges everywhere. Sorry about the noise if you're hearing the airplane. I have the windows open. It's a nice day. And my cats love it. They love looking out the window, especially at the birds. Oh my gosh, the funniest thing ever is them talking to those dang birds. Okay. So, we're going to put one in there, one there, one there. And what I want is I'm going to, I don't normally would do this, but if I can find it. Oh my, where are you? want to edge in. I lost my distress paint ink. Oh, welcome to the crazy life. My mess. Oh, look, I found it. Now I need my little tool. And get these little white edges a little bit different coloring you do not have to do this this is just something i want to do oh i also found some an ink pad so it might be fun to like stamp on these i guess we'll see but the the idea is no rhyme or reason don't think about it just rip sometimes ripping paper and putting it down and making fun funky clusters will be enough to, you know, jump our creative mojo, you know? I was getting creative blocks and funks and, you know. And this is one of the things that I do that will stop it or help me through it. So, 
There we go. Let's find what else we can use. Oh look, this is a pretty paper. I don't like those together, but that's okay. So I'm gonna, oh, I kind of like that. Let's add that to it. It's amazing what you can do with these tissue paper stuff, right? It's just mind boggling. Now I'm just gonna stick that all the way on there. Oh, look, it got a little scrunchy. Oh, well, that's okay. We don't care, do we? Okay, I don't care. So, it really is the idea I, um, one of my bonus girls was having a very hard time. And I brought her over and I said, okay, let's just rip paper. So I gave her a piece of sheet and I, she ripped paper up and put it down. And you know what? That helped her because ripping paper can be really fun and therapeutic. And so can, oh yeah, I like those. Okay, we're going to rip you there. I think I am liking where this is going. Okay, normally I would like totally add a whole bunch to everywhere, but for some reason I'm just doing these three, which is fine. Who cares, right? As long as I like it. And you could decorate these, decorate these if you want, or don't. It doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is you get back into crafting. Heck, if you don't like the way these turn out, throw them away. Who cares? Okay, so now I think I'm going to put that little a couple tall ones. Oh, I like that. Okay, but it needs to go that way. I have an issue with music paper being upside down, although I did do it upside down there. Oops. We'll have to turn that around, you know? All right. Here we go. I wonder if I have any lace on my desk. Lace is fun. I don't. Here, I don't see any. I have this. Let's do it in there. There we go. Oh, you're little. We're gonna put you little down here. We're gonna make a tiny one. Oh, oh this got some paper to it.
Okay, so I have bases done. Now, you can stop here or you can decorate them. And I, for one, am going to decorate them. But I'm gonna rip them apart first, because why not? Now, I have a random box of tons of different printout cut aparts. Um, most of them are from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah, not all of them. And then I have some fun, just little stickers. Um, all right, let's start with this one. So for right now, we're going to use this on here. I don't know what else. It's screaming something else, but I don't know. So we're just going to um, hold off on that until I can figure out what else I want to add to it. You're going to use Distress Oxide. Get some of this stamped. Just add a little bit of texture, in a sense, to that. And... Then... I think we're just going to add this sticker on.
Let's add an 87 for fun. There we go. So these stamps um, I got from, mm, I want to say Amazon, got them years ago. Okay, so I have all but three done, and I think that's pretty good. Um, so let's, let's go over what we have. Okay, so again, the object of this is just to throw paper together make fun clusters doesn't matter um if you don't use them you don't use them but it will get you back into the making of creative stuff you know so we have this one and this one and this one fun so there we go Thanks for joining me today. If you liked this, please give it a thumbs up and think of subscribing and know that you are important. Bye.